If you've watched any videos on how to get better sound, or 5 tips for better audio, then undoubtedly you've heard that getting the mic as close as possible to the subject is key. It's the most cited tip by professionals, myself included, and it's largely correct. Mostly. I mean, half. Yeah, the half correct is probably the right way to look at it. Because it doesn't matter if you're using a properly placed $1,000 Sennheiser shotgun or a $400 Senken Lav, environmental noise can destroy your recording. A $20 mic in a quiet environment will be more pleasing to listen to. And I have found a rather amazing and relatively inexpensive tool that can save your ass when it comes to dialogue in a noisy environment. You can skip ahead to learn about it, but I want to cover a couple of things first, because this fix-it-in-post solution should be your last resort. If you watch an anchor person on TV sitting behind a desk in a newsroom, they are always wearing lav mics. That's because it's a quiet, controlled environment. Move that same anchor person out onto the street, and they're going to be holding a mic they can press up against their lips. That's because it's in a noisy, uncontrolled environment, and they want the greatest volume difference between the background noise and their voice. A lav on the chest is receiving about 70 dB in sound pressure. That handheld mic in the field is capturing over 100. The voice is six times louder on the handheld. When you're shooting in a room, let's say you're doing an interview, you're obviously going to choose the quietest room possible. But you should also be aware that sound reflections build up in different places inside of a room. First, sound loves big, flat, hard walls. Anything that breaks up those flat surfaces, a bookcase, desk, doorway, reduces the sound reflections, and thus the noise in the room. Sound noise also builds up in the corners of any room, and so you want to think about your distance to the corner. And all of the reflections in a room will eventually make their way to the center of the room, regardless of its shape or size. So staying clear of the center is helpful. But if you're a working videographer, you often have limited choices with your environment. So let's say you've made the best choice possible and you're back in the editing room and you discover that, yes, as you suspected, there was a lot of environmental noise and maybe you had to shoot outdoors. My location seems quiet enough until I take off the post-processing. So much noise in the environment right now. So much noise in the environment. Ooh, listen, it is a helicopter. How wonderful. Can you hear it? Now? Yes? No? Yes? If you've watched any videos on how to get better sound, or five tips for better audio, if you've watched any videos on how to get better sound, or five tips for better audio, I'm two blocks from a freeway, and the birds love these trees, and you've got some wind in the background, it's pretty dang noisy. You can't get to this level of background suppression with regular noise reduction tools. You need dialogue isolation or extraction software. Probably the best isolation software on the market is by Isotrope, but it costs over a thousand dollars. It's only affordable for big studios. Then I discovered Akon Digital Extract Dialog. I can't say that it's as good as Isotope because I don't own that software, but it uses artificial intelligent tools to do the same work and the results are impressive. You can hear it right now. The software costs $99. That's not cheap, but it can save an irreplaceable audio track, and it's simple to get excellent results using just the sensitivity slider. This basically increases and decreases the background suppression. The maximum attenuation dial is more subtle. While the app does a very good job of maintaining all the frequencies of the voice and therefore its naturalness, any time that you are reducing noise, you're going to be affecting the voice to some degree. There's no magic that can completely separate out vocals from noise at the same frequencies. But I found that the maximum attenuation dial could bring back a little of my vocal warmth and allow me to reduce the sensitivity or the amount of background suppression. If you want even more control of which frequencies are being affected, say you want to eliminate birdsong or highway rumble, you can use these keys to select portions of the frequency range. There are also presets, which frankly I haven't explored because these other tools give me full control. The solo noise lets you hear just the sounds that are being removed. It's a good way to know if any of your vocals are being affected. Akon, by the way, also offers a full audio mastering suite with some features like D-Bird that are unique and intriguing. 
I already own a number of denoise, declick, dehum apps, so I didn't try it, though I suspect that Akon is as good or better than what I already own. The suite is $199, which again, compared to your competition and your other choices, is very good. With the only competition being over $1,000, I was deeply impressed with Akon's digital extract dialogue. Even without the rude awakening of Isotope, I would have been impressed. And if you shoot in a range of uncontrolled environments, if you shoot weddings or events, this tool can be a lifesaver. Whenever you hear that something is an X killer, a Rode Wireless Go killer, an Aperture 120 killer, it usually means that it's a low cost competitor that's not quite as good but checks most of the boxes. I don't know if the Akon is really an isotope killer because I don't own that $1,100 piece of software. Hopefully a veteran like Alex Knickerbocker can do a head-to-head -head review to see just how close they are. But I'll say that for 90% of video creators, based on the cost and just how effective this is, the Akon Digital Extract Dialog has got murder in its eyes.